Hey guys, today we're going to talk about distilled water and intermittent fasting. So what is distilled water? You're basically boiling the water, concentrating the vapor, and you're getting rid of the impurities and minerals, okay? And this purifies the water, okay? There's other types of purified water, uh, deionized water, which is a chemical process, and you're placing these minerals in the water with hydrogen and hydroxide. And there's also another type of purified water called reversed osmosis, which involves a, a membrane which allows certain particles to go through and pressure. This eliminates virtually all the minerals as well. And people are using uh, purified water and distilled water in certain detoxification programs. And some people have this idea that it's healthier long term. But here's the big problem. When you consume distilled water, it will deplete your minerals and your electrolytes, okay, which are basically the same thing. So I'm talking about Calcium, magnesium, potassium, sodium, chlorides. So the more you drink of this water, the more it pulls out the minerals, especially if you're doing it long term. Short term, I think it's going to be fine, especially if you're consuming electrolytes, you know, in your foods. But when you start doing an intermittent fasting program, okay, and you're doing maybe some periodic prolonged fasting uh, with that, and you're using reverse osmosis water or distilled water, you're going to deplete your mineral reserves. And this can set you up for all sorts of problems, specifically heart problems, because you need these electrolytes for the heart to work correctly. And so many people, when they start a fasting program, are going into it with existing mineral deficiencies. So we don't want to add anything else that's going to deplete them. And this is why I always recommend when you're doing fasting to take electrolytes in your water when you drink the water. So the best water to consume uh, when you're doing fasting, especially, is to do uh, spring water, well water, hard water, which is full of minerals, calcium and magnesium. Growing up in Wisconsin, we had some incredible well water. We didn't even have to filter it at all. We just drank it right from the tap. Uh, it's loaded with calcium. The type of calcium that goes in like a rocket ship because it's calcium bicarbonate. Now, when you heat water, for example, when you're making tea, you notice those little white crystals on the bottom. Um, that is calcium carbonate, okay? So heat turns the bicarbonate into carbonate, which is really hard to absorb. Like in a lot of supplements, like one-a-days and things like that, they use calcium carbonate, which is, it's like you're consuming rocks. But calcium bicarbonate in hard water or spring water is the best type of calcium. And as a side note, a lot of people use soft water compared to hard water. What is that? Basically replace these minerals like calcium and magnesium with sodium and bicarbonate. It's, uh, they like it because it, um, it doesn't leave that soap scum and that white, white uh, film around your clothing when you wash your clothes uh, like hard water does. But the problem is you want to drink water with these minerals because the minerals actually help you. They give you the electrolytes that you need. So the moral of the story is that if you're doing fasting, okay, do not do distilled water. And if you want to do distilled water, only do it short term. Do not do it long term unless you're taking electrolytes. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.